Good morning, LED boys and girls. How are you? I hope all of you had a wonderful week knowing God and following Him. Guys, it's Sunday morning. That means it is our Lord's Day. So, let's all start worship together by praising our God with our worship songs. Everyone, let's please stand up and praise our Lord together. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise me everything I needed so much more so I just want to lift my hands and say that I love him I just want to lift my heart in
On the sixth day of creation, God made people. God said, let us make man in our own image. They will rule over the whole earth and all the creatures on the earth. So God created both male and female people in his image. God took dust from the ground and made a body. God breathed into the man and the man became alive. God planted a garden in the land of Eden and put the man there. God told the man to work in the garden and take care of it. God provided food from the trees for the man to eat. And God provided a river to water the garden. Then God said, you may eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. The garden had a tree in it called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned the man, if you eat from that tree, you will die. Then God said, it is not good for man to be alone. So God decided to make a helper for the man. God brought to the man the animals he had created. And the man gave names to all of the creatures. But none of the animals was a good helper for the man. Oh. So God made the man fall into a deep sleep. He took one of the man's ribs and created a woman. When the man saw the woman, he was very happy. This one, at last, he said, is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. The woman was a perfect helper for the man. She was his wife. The man's name was Adam, and his wife's name was Eve. God gave Adam and Eve good things. He put them in charge of the animals and provided everything they needed. God looked at everything he made, and it was very good. So on the seventh day of creation, God rested from his work. God created people in his own image and provides for everything he made. People are special because God made people to live forever in a relationship with him. Through his son, Jesus, we can have eternal life with God just as he planned. Our Bible passage today is on Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 31. Genesis 1, 26 to 31. Let's read it together. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creations that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. The image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds, the sky, and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Everyone, our story point for today is this, God created people. That's right, God created the world in six days, right? In the sixth day, God created people. And all people are separated from the rest of God's creation because they are different. The Bible says that God made people in His image. That doesn't mean that our bodies physically look like God. God the Father does not have a physical body. It also doesn't mean that we have all the same attributes of God. But it does mean that we can show the world a little bit about God. When we love others and use God's creation wisely, 
reflect God's goodness and beauty to the world. Let's learn two important things about people today and an extra lesson that we can take from today's story. So, lesson number one is this. God created us in His image. Well, Genesis 1 verse 16 says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over the, all the creatures creatures that move and over all the creatures that move along the ground. People are like God in ways that the rest of creation is not. We are made like Him, according to this verse, or patterned like God. For example, God is creative and people can be creative too. We create music, paintings, we write stories and build things. We are not like God because we cannot create things from nothing. There is a difference. Number two, God is intelligent and people are intelligent too. We can think to solve problems and we can study to learn things like math, science, languages. But our intelligence is not like God's intelligence because we cannot know everything. Because God knows everything about everything. That is why when we don't know about some things, we can ask God with prayer. We can grow in our relationship with God by spending more time with God. We can read His Word, the Bible, and pray. That's how we grow in our relationship with God. Lastly, we are like God because we can have relationship with God and with one another. We can love God and love one another. But we are not like God because sometimes we can feel lonely. God never feels lonely because He is never alone. He has the person of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in perfect loving relationship among themselves. Number two, God created us to be in relationship with Him. The first two people, Adam and Eve, they had a relationship with God. He talked with them and gave them everything they needed. People are special among God's creation because God made people to live forever in a relationship with Him. God wants people to know Him and to love Him. God shows people His love by providing what we need. Look what He said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. It says, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Guys, look all around us. God gives good gifts for us to enjoy. And the best of all, God gives us Himself. Now, through Jesus, we can have eternal life with God. And that's a gift from Jesus, just like He planned in the very beginning. Number three, we must treat everyone with respect. So, if God created every person in His image, that means that every person is important and valuable. God loves His people. We are important for not only for what we do, but also because of who we are. When we look into other people, it is important to look them as people that God created in His image, all of us. Pastor Kevin says in Question from Kids video that even if the people don't look like us and they don't eat the food, same kind of food that we eat and we don't, they don't dress the same way we dress, the person that is different from us has been made in the image of God, just like me and you. God wants us to treat one another with respect, love, and dignity because He made all of us in His image. Amen? That was today's story. I hope you enjoyed it, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today's story. 
Lord, we learned today about God's creation, and we learned today that you created people. Lord, we learned that you created people in your image. So whenever we see each other, we can remember you and glorify you. And Lord, we learned that you created us to be in relationship with you. Through Jesus, now we can have relationship with you. And we know that you love us because you gave all the good things for us to enjoy here. And lastly, we learned that we must treat one another with respect because everyone was created in God's image. Thank you so much, Lord. Help us to remember these lessons and practice them and believe in them. We pray and we give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Good job, everyone. I hope you really, really enjoyed today's worship. And now let's do our activities pages so we can learn more about God and today's story. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.